All right, friends, we are going to continue our work with adding and subtracting fractions and using some different strategies to do that work. And today, we're going to put both of our strategies, our models, pictures, and decomposing fractions together. So we're going to draw pictures to represent our decomposed fractions. And as a reminder, decomposing means to separate things into its smallest parts. And the smallest part of a fraction is called a unit fraction. So I'm going to be using those terms as we go through our video today. So this fraction should look familiar, 3 fifths. But the picture looks a little bit different because we're going to need a little bit more room to work. So 3 fifths, I know that equals 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. So I'm going to write that down. Equals 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. Now we need to represent those unit fractions as pictures. So we're putting our two strategies together. So I'm going to draw either a pie or you can draw a rectangle. And in both cases, we are going to split our shape into five parts. So I'm going to do that now. And you can do the same thing while I work. Okay, so you'll see that I now have pictures with fifth. And I'm going to shade in one fifth of those pictures to show that I'm representing the unit fraction. So one fifth plus one fifth plus one fifth equals three fifths. And I could also do that same work with a different picture. So instead of fractions, I can use, instead of circles, I can use rectangles and do the same thing. One out of five, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth. And when I add that together, I get three fifths. We're going to try that same work one more time using 5 eighths. So 5 eighths, I'm going to shade in how many pieces I need. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that would be 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. So now I've checked off each of my 5 eighths. And to represent each unit fraction, I'm going to draw a picture to show that these unit fractions become my original fraction 5 eighths. So I'm going to draw my pictures of 1 eighth, and you can do the same. So I have drawn my pies to represent eighths, and I'm going to shade in my unit fractions for each. 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth equals 5 eighths. And I'm just going to draw another picture to show my 5 eighths that each of these pictures together that I just shaded will equal the 1 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth, plus one eighth will be 1 2 3 4 5 eighths just how we started. So this should be a skill that we are building on just from what we had learned yesterday. So good luck.